Howdy 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 my beautiful Aries, how are you doing darling? My name is Simply Valka and today Aries we're going to be getting into your weekly tarot reading for July, alright? So if you enjoy this weekly tarot reading here Aries, be sure to let me know in the comments below, alright? That's how I keep up with you darling. As well as give this video a like and subscribe Aries, it's completely free to do, alright? And it helps out this tarot reading channel a lot. Now Aries, when you are consuming general tarot readings here today on YouTube, be sure that you're catering more than just to than just your zodiacs all right you want to cater to uh your sun moon rising as well as your venus right not just your one all right so let's just get right into your weekly tarot reading here now aries now remember darling if you enjoy this tar weekly reading here i promise you you'll enjoy the monthly tarot reading that i have for you aries all right so check out the top right hand corner of your screen but let's get into your three rows your first row is going to be uh covering your financial as well as your career aspect Aries and then in the second row today darling we're going to be covering over your social life all right so this could be a romantic relationship Aries platonic someone in the work we're just tapping into someone that you're dealing with uh this week and then in the third row here Aries we're going to just be getting into some general tear messages that you need to be hearing at this time all right starting this energy off though we are coming in strong darling with the emperor energy all right i like this energy a lot for you aries all right i see you there's something that's going to be be making you feel empowered something reminding you of who you are what your capabilities are here aries all right whatever the case is like i feel as if for many of you aries there's like the specific message of just like remembering who you are all right something has been getting you a little bit in your head perhaps right maybe it's just like other people have made you feel like the sense of shame for like wanting to be more unapologetically yourself right no longer filtering yourself as much others of you uh aries you might be working through some type of insecurity right maybe the insecurity in uh setting the boundaries that you need to do or you know the insecurity in leading with the vision right as you get more eyes on you you might start doubting your capabilities if you are fitting as the emperor you might be the emperor that has the imposter syndrome being like Ooh, am, am i deserving of this what if people just wake up one day and realize that uh, i'm not truly an emperor right what if i'm not i don't have the body type or the intelligence or the normal look of what what you think aries uh, emperor is but the reality is for you aries is you are an emperor whether you like it or not so get comfortable with being uncomfortable with this power darling all right with your potential here all right get out of your comfort zone stop playing yourself so small why are you what what happened in your life aries that made you think that it was okay to play small all right <clears throat> so let's get into your rows this week here aries all right your first row we have here the six of wands two of swords or two of pentacles with the four swords coming in here all right i like this energy for you aries and i'm i'm gonna tell you why honey all right and remember the emperor energy is the back of the deck for all three rows so it's all relevant here i feel like for you guys aries you guys have been juggling with a lot here i feel i feel very much so for many of you guys the way that you're going to bring forth uh success and further uh abundance in your life because with the six of wands honey you can't get any better than this uh why am i wanting to call you taurus aries all right you can't get better than this aries all right um i feel for you you need to hyper focus in um when it comes to your creation process like what do you need to hear from all right i feel like for many of you guys this is something that's like an internal battle uh for you where it's just like some of you guys need to take a break uh essentially uh aries from trying to be a boss and maybe do some time uh have a period of where uh, if you're able to maybe take a week or two off of just being able to self-reflect all right there is like this sense for you aries where it's like you're trying to answer your healing process uh with more hustling and you think hustling is going to not only heal uh heal you on your personal on a personal level but it's also going to um reflect in the workplace as well but the fact of the matter is for you aries i feel like you're starting to notice like your mental health really dictates from month to month by like how much your financial like how much you're going to make financially like how do i mean by this series it's like you realize how much 
you are able to accomplish when your mental health is good. But when your mental health is bad, that's when everything suffers. But your answer to that is trying to work to suppl uh, supplement that. You're just like, whoa, wait a minute. Why am I not having this progression? Why am I not feeling fulfilled? Why am I not having the success? The you know, six of wands on its own uh, areas is the fame and fortune card, right? You're asking these questions why you're not getting the results that let's be honest areas that you're deserving of right and it's because there's just like this there's this sense of healing like you guys are underestimating like how much your mental health really dictates how successful you're going to be all right i'm gonna just leave it like that let's get into this third row for you i mean third row honey your second row i know i've been running my mouth just uh for a moment now a hot biscuit here <laughs> aries but i know we're just in the second you have the queen of wands with a knight as well knight of wands and then you got that cherry energy very pleasant energy here also keep in mind remembering uh aries we still got that emperor in the back of the deck here i feel as if for you aries <clears throat> You're dealing with somebody, you're going to be getting approached uh, by somebody that really admires you, Aries, is what I see. Because I see you as the, not me, I just realized I knocked out my crystals. Oh, well. <clears throat> I see for you, Aries, like you as this queen of wands. This is your energy, right? Wands is fire energy. You're a fire sign, right? And I see you getting approached by a knight of wands who... I see the Knight of Wands as just like someone that is trying to go up in the ranks, someone that is trying to learn um, from the Queen of Wands, what the Queen of Wands has to offer here. Chariot energy coming in here. And it's almost as if like, I don't know why I'm not if I don't like Katy Perry. <laughs> I don't mind Katy Perry as a person, but I don't like her music. But for some reason, darling, the Katy Perry uh, Dark Horse, where it's just like some like everyone's bringing uh like their offerings to her like everyone wants to be with katie perry and she always like they bring all these offerings and she always just eats them up and spits them out honey all right um but that's the scenario that i get is like the sense it's like someone's coming forward to bring some type of offer to you to learn from you here like like they come with bearing a message they come bearing something of substance here all right it's not just like this sense of admiration which is clearly there but it's like admiration and also trying to show like how serious they are by what it is that they bring to the table what it is that they offer in a platonic way this could be in a sense of where it's like someone wants to pursue being a friend being your friend because they've like you did something or just what it is that how you carry yourself aries is something that is inspired and so this person wants to just further engage with you um to see what you're about in a romantic sense i feel as if this is someone that is trying to uh court you aries where they feel as if you are out of their league right where they feel as if like like uh, on a like on a uh internal level i don't know if they would ever admit that or not i mean who would really realistically here right from a career dynamic i also could easily see this aries as someone uh coming in in your same kind of field making a work connection on some level all right so getting into your third row, just your general tarot messages here, you have the five with the king of pentacles and then the strength card coming in for you, darling. All right. <clears throat> Aries, your main message this week is, again, getting comfortable with the sense of power. All right. So you're notice, take notice, Aries, where it's just like you're consistently getting the cards that have the theme of like sitting on a throne, right? You're getting all the royalty cards. And the thing about it is that because that's your energy, like you, you, whatever it is that you do, all right, professionally, personally, like whatever it is that you do, you clearly inspire people, right? Clearly, Aries, from what it is that we gathered from here, like you clearly inspire people, all right? You clearly like are expert in your field, all right? But you have this five of pentacles energy internally. You have this imposter syndrome, Aries. You have this place where it's just like, why me? <clears throat> you know you have this place and i don't feel like this always used to be here aries something happened for this to develop we need to work on this darling this is your shadow work right that's why you have the strength card coming in here this is your shot this is literally your shadow work aries what it is getting back comfortable with your throne remembering what it is that you have built in the past and what it is that you plan on building for yourself in your future some of you aries i get like this message of where 
some of you guys have started to like play down your dreams again aries like i feel as if if i had talked to you like a year ago six months ago aries all right time doesn't matter just a time before now like i feel like i would have if we would have talked we would have kikied aries you would have told me like this grand vision that you have for yourself right that you want to have a farm with a bunch of animals you want to you want to do everything and then we reconnect right now aries and what i'm seeing in these this these cards here is where it's just like you lost the vision for the farm you're just like oh i mean i would be just happy with like a just something like i don't even i don't know like where's the spark aries all right where's the spark that i know you have darling okay like you just need to remember who you like i don't know i just want to take you by the shoulders aries and just like shake you man ah, that imposter syndrome is doing a doozy doing a number on you darling all right so let's start getting into these clarifiers aries let's see what's what we can really unpack today for you. All right, we're gonna start out with your career row, remembering that it was the Six of Wands, Two of Pentacles, Aries with that Four of Swords. We have the devil card coming in here. There's that devil, honey. I knew we were going to get this based off of just the tone, uh, Aries, of what we were having up until this point, honey. I'm sure you're not even surprised that we have that devil. Unless you don't know tarot, then you're probably just like, Velga, what the hell is this? <laughs> you know, shut your mouth and explain. I'm freaking out. Don't worry, though, darling. All right. Seven of cups in the back of the deck here. All right. You have the devil card, two of wands, and I'll show these in a moment. Don't worry. Six of swords here coming in. All right. I feel like for you, Aries, it's like due to this situation of the devil, darling. All right. This imposter, this is literally the tarot card of like imposter syndrome internally here. There's been some major blockage here that has limited you from considering other options that has like given you this sense of where you feel as if you're stuck and where it is that you are currently at. All right. It's like you lost the big vision for yourself here. All right. It's almost as if due to your current situation, your living situation, in your work situation you feel as if you're going to be forever stuck in this loop because i'm being shown the infinity symbol now it's almost as if for you because like maybe in the work like financial situation right now like it's been feeling pretty hopeless for you all right due to the sense of you feeling unempowered currently here aries you have started to just lose the vision all right and what i want to be telling you right now aries is that you are able to overcome this but you need to give yourself that four swords experience all right notice how everything has been like in this reading it's like it starts out as like high potential darling but then it's like the mental health starts really seeping through and deteriorating the quality of the reading the quality not the quality of the reading honey the quality is there honey let's make that first and foremost clear it's like the quality of energy right it doesn't feel as uplifting when you're just like man you know i gotta work on these things here it's the sense of like i have to try to convince you aries of your own potential honey and you know yourself best all right aries let's get into your social re uh row now let's see what we can be flushing out with this situation here again i get this sense of admiration from this person here aries i get this sense of having something to offer you seven of pentacles coming in here ten of pentacles and this offer is fabulous all right page of cups coming in here this person really page of cups is the epitome of new people entering your life aries new people as well as new opportunities it's kind of like a it's a double bonus like it has a couple meanings to it ten of pentacles coming in here comes from this place of like strong stable connection coming in here all right when i see this in regards to a person here this is definitely with that seven of pentacles the card of like nurturing this is literally like a good connection solid stable connection coming in here that's what you put into it it's gonna blossom this is very someone that's very mature successful in their own right here but what it is that they have to offer you is even better here what they have to offer you a little cameo from tulip as she decides to peek out what they have to offer to you is stability what they have to offer to you is something worth they think is worth investing into due to that ten of pentacles seven of pentacles they thinking what it is that i mean themselves all right so it's just like this is really someone that really has this interest in developing something with you all right <clears throat> so now let's take a clarification on your general uh tarot cards now remembering that it was the five of pentacles king of pentacles with that strength card coming in nine of wands stepping forward seven of pentacles with the four of cups coming in no not the four of cups darling the six of cups honey <clears throat> the six of cups stepping forward to you and then in the back of the deck we have the four of pentacles coming in here all right 
<clears throat> Keep your head up at this time here, Aries. All right, what it is that you have invested into, don't get so stuck on your current reality or, or cut, yeah, stuck on your current situation of things. It's due to the fact that like you are feeling a little bit overwhelmed. You know, it's like that sense of like when you invest into crypto, when you invest into stocks, you hold, right? The longer you hold, like you hold out even when you're in the red. I promise you, Aries, the longer that you hold out, even though everything's in the red right now and things are looking pretty bad, the longer you hold out on the things that you already have started, it's going to pay off in the long run. All right, to that nine of ones, that wounded warrior. Keep your strength up, darling, is the best you can. But make sure that you're addressing that mental health, honey. I don't know how many times I can be saying this to you, Aries, okay? Like, that is such an important factor i feel when it comes to your personal development is just your just your development of your life it's like not even just your personal development just in general honey all right is making sure that mental health is truly given its time all right so aries now let's get into your oracle card for this week to wrap up your tarot reading hopefully you found this tarot reading helpful to you aries remember i have a monthly tarot reading to check out if you enjoyed this styling you have the last quarter moon in aquarius reflecting on your priorities aries all right again i feel as if y'all's priorities are need to shift a little bit i know especially in this economy aries like it's in this economy um how hard it is to give yourself the time to heal before you get back on the hustling culture especially during a time like this but i feel like it's just so important important for you right now just to hit the pause button all right reflect on your priorities because right now what it is that you are prioritizing isn't currently serving you to the highest of your ability all right there's something else that needs more of your focus before you uh continue on with the developments that you have going on in your life aries all right darling so that's the weekly tarot reading that i have for you aries hopefully you found some tarot cards helpful to you on some level darling if you did let me know in the comments below be sure to give this video a like and subscribe aries as well darling if you want to book a private reading with me aries my website's linked down below darling simply velcro Dot com next to my social medias tiktok and instagram both but just being simply velka same as here <laughs> but i love you so much aries and hopefully i can connect with you sometime in the near future bye darling